Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Debbie with another episode of My Two Cents with Debbie. Um, good morning, good evening, good night, good afternoon to any from anywhere in the world you're watching me from. Just want to let you know your watch is truly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and um, turn on your notification bell so each and every time I upload a video, you guys will get that notification that another juicy episode has been uploaded so this week's episode of tell me pastor or dear pastor says older boyfriend loves to watch me perform hold up hold up let me read that title again older boyfriend loves to watch me perform okay let's see what kind of performance you're doing now my dear it says dear pastor i am 22 years old and i am single but living with a man who has just turned 50. Okay, yeah, you hear that right. Let, let me read this again. I am 22 years old and I am single but living with a man who has just turned 50. Hold up, look a bit there. So, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. You live with him in my 20, you are 22, in my 50, but you're single? Oh, so he's your daddy. Okay, so let's read this. All right. This man and I do crazy things. I am in college, but without him, I would not have been studying there. Mm. He has his own business and it is very successful. When he gets home in the evening, he does not, he does not like to see me well dressed. He wants me to, to show my skin. Hold up a little bit, hold up there. My head hurt. He does not like to see me well dressed. He wants me to, he wants me to show my skin. Okay, we are living in a townhouse that he owns. He does not want me to talk too much to the neighbors. Some of them think that he's my father, hmm. while others think that he's my uncle. He said that I should answer to whatever they call me. So what if them call you a whore? Or if them call you a bitch, if I answer? Okay. Sometimes we masturbate each other. But there are times when he watched me do it by myself. I call him a pervert, but he is not a pervert. Mm, your guess is good as mine. He prefers to be entertained by me. Instead of going to the club to see women climbing poles, he prefers to give me the money to dance and carry on and to entertain him. Child, my head hurt already. Sometimes I ask him if he would ever marry me because I am not sure that he would do so. Okay, so what was his response? He has two daughters who are living in Canada. They have been here to visit him. One of them is my age. Lord have mercy. We talk a lot, but the other one does not say much to me. I sometimes wonder what she's thinking. Hmm. And waiting so she I think. Hmm. You and our sister are the same age. And then you're supposed to turn around and be stepmother. Cheryl, please. This man takes good care of me, so I'm not trying to give him up. Okay, so what was the reason for writing, dear pastor? If you're not going to leave him, him take care of you. Okay, let's hear what pastor have to say. You may never know what this man has in mind. Apart from saying that this man has two daughters, you did not give anything about his background. I suppose that this man is divorced. Huh? Probably was never even married. Huh? One of his daughters and you communicate, and when she was visiting, the other one did not say much. Hmm. Perhaps she was wondering what her father was doing with such a young girl as his lover. Child, please, Sherry didn't know what daddy was doing. So she probably looking at daddy like you're a pervert to be dating somebody the same age as your daughter. You are not tired of this relationship and neither is this man tired of you. I hope he will not use you and eventually dump you. This would be unfortunate indeed. Try your best to get a good education while you are with this man. That might be the only lasting thing you may get out of him. Okay, so I'm still confused because um, you say him take care of you you don't want to leave okay so what was the purpose of you writing for pastor for brag say so you have a 50 year old and you're 22 listen 
I know they're like people living in Jamaica where have it hard. But my thing is, where are your parents? And I know at 22, you are um, grown. So you don't need, you know, parents telling you what to do. It's great that you're in college. So I guess if you're 22, in school, where your parents? Did they send you to school and then he just pick up the slack? You didn't say where your parents were. Um, listen, you also said you're single. So that means you're not even invested in this relationship. You look like you're only in it for the money. Because the first thing you say, you're single. You should have been saying that, yeah, you know, we're together, we're in a committed relationship. But you didn't even say that. You said you were single. This man takes good care of me, so I'm not ready to give him up. So he's a gold digger. Okay. Um. Well, at least you didn't say anything about getting pregnant. So you're in school. Like Pastor said, get an education. At least get something out of it. Um. Hopefully, you won't get pregnant. And, you know, you get a college education, move on with your life eventually. Because, girl, by the time you turn 30, he's going to be almost um, 60. Because you're 22 and 8 years, he's going to be um, 58. Um, by the time, you know, you turn um, 30. Then by the time you're 35, he's going to be, you know, in his 60. Girl, listen. At some point in time, you're going to be like, uh-uh, this man got to go. So like Pastor said, get your um, get your degree, finish school, get your degree, get yourself a good job, and build yourself a stable life. Child, I don't know what was the purpose of you writing, Pastor, because you already say you're not give up the man. At some point, he's going to look at you like, this is creepy. You're the same age as my daughter. And why is he sleeping with you if you're 22 just like his daughter? That's just a little bit weird for my taste. Something is going on up there for him to be sleeping with a 22 year old and don't see anything wrong with it if you and his daughter is the same age. Something ain't right. But that's either need here nor there. You lay your bed, well, you're not really laying your bed. You know, you perform tricks because you say it will give you the money instead of going out, you know, because see the go go them dance. So. Again, don't get pregnant and finish your um, finish your schooling. And at least when you walk away, you walk away with a good education. So, guys, that that this so uh, I don't even know what to say. And usually I'm opinionated, but mm, this I want you. Mm -mm. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment below. Um, and thanks again for watching my channel. And again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and leave, drop me your comment and let me know what you think about this week's episode of My Two Cents with Debbie. Again, live life to the fullest. Life is too short, guys. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Until next time, it's your girl Debbie with another week's episode of My Two Cents with Debbie.